it is a good idea to have a Windows General Cleanup utility and I can recommend CCleaner. So open up your favorite web browser and Google for CCleaner Portable. Where you have a choice, portable applications are good because they don't install themselves as part of the operating system. So it's guaranteed not to slow down the performance of your PC when it's not in use. So here is a portable application version. I'll just download it and save it onto my desktop. Having downloaded my portable application, which is usually a zip file, I just open it and extract the contents to a favorite folder of my own choosing. In this case, I have a folder called UU for useful utilities, where I keep all my portable applications. And I've extracted the contents into a folder called CCleaner. I just double click the CCleaner executable to run the application. Here you are presented with a nice clean interface which is what I like to see. You can set various, you can either leave the settings at their default values or if you're like me you can fine tune your preferences by ticking and unticking the various selection boxes. For example I choose uh, to keep my browser history and um, so we can then do the first, click the first button and clean up the uh, PC by removing a lot of unnecessary files uh, which get accumulated over time. So I just go ahead and click run cleaner. Uh, the first time you run it, it will take quite a long time and don't be afraid that it will delete an awful lot of uh, temporary files. I've already run this so I don't have too many files to delete. It's just removed and it shows you a summary of all the files that it's removed. The second part, important part of the program is to clean up the registry. You click scan for issues and the first time you run this as well there'll be uh, an awful lot of issues to be to be cleaned up. I, I don't even bother looking at the long list of issues. I, when it's completed the run I just simply select fix all issues, fix all selected issues uh, I sure you want to fix these issues I just say OK and I run the scan again to make sure I get a clean result I keep running that until I get uh, a report saying no issues found so I find this a really useful tool to do the final moppy up operations especially after doing a lot of cleanup manually by removing programs as described in the earlier series I've done so do give CCleaner a try and hope to see you next time.